In this video, we will show you how to prepare a remanufactured OEM DSG 7-speed mechatronic unit and the gearbox ready for reinstallation. If the mechatronic unit or the gearbox is not properly prepared, this could result in a transmission malfunction or even permanent damage to the mechatronics or gearbox. Step one is to prepare the remanufactured mechatronic unit. The first thing to do is remove the sealing bung located inside the breather. Remove the cap and the bung is in the center of the breather. Replace the cap by pressing down firmly. A remanufactured mechatronic will require filling with one liter of central hydraulic fluid. We recommend using fluid that meets G004 standards. To fill the mechatronic, remove the five millimeter hex filler cap and fill. Once the unit has been filled, the gear and clutch actuators will require priming. This is required to expel any air in the system. To do this, ensure the mechatronic is standing upright and slowly pull and push the actuators out a few times. You'll feel the resistance of the fluid behind the actuators once they have been primed. If you are unable to gain resistance behind the actuators, top up the mechatronic with an additional 100 milliliters of central hydraulic fluid and reprime. Fit the new seal, which is provided. Pay particular attention to the alignment of the seal, ensuring the locating tabs line up to the corresponding points on the mechatronic unit. Before fitting the mechatronic unit, the gear actuators need to be set to the neutral positions. They should protrude 25 millimeters from the actuator housing. You can set these using a vernier tool as shown. Step two is to prepare the gearbox. All selector forks should be checked and the gearbox placed into neutral before fitting the mechatronic unit. Every selector fork has three positions, gear selected, neutral, and gear selected. Move each fork into each position by hand. If the gears cannot be selected, move the front gears by hand and try again. Return the selector forks to the middle position. The gearbox is now in neutral. Check each gear recognition magnet on the gearbox. Any damage, swarf buildup, or misalignment of these magnets could result in a malfunction of the transmission system. The third step is fitting the mechatronic unit to the gearbox. When fitting the mechatronic, make sure the selector forks are not inadvertently pressed out of their position. Also observe the engaging actuators stay in position. You can use guide pins to help align the mechatronic unit into place. Ensure the clutch plungers are seated into the cups on the clutch assembly. These can be pulled out by hand. Plungers that are not seated properly can cause transmission malfunctions and damage the mechatronic system. The input speed sensor must be fully and firmly in place. If the sensor is loose or the clip is broken, then it will cause a transmission malfunction. On first startup, allow the vehicle to reach optimal running temperature before carrying out a test drive of the vehicle. Basic settings are not required when reinstalling a remanufactured mechatronic unit. All gear adaptations and settings are retained. So, to summarize, before fitting your remanufactured mechatronic unit, remove the sealing bung, fill the mechatronic with one liter of central hydraulic fluid and prime the actuators. If you're unable to achieve full priming, top up the mechatronic with 100 milliliters of central hydraulic fluid and reprime. Ensure a new seal is fitted. Set the actuator arms 25 millimeters from the housing. Check the movement of the gearbox selector forks and set them to the central position. Check the gear recognition magnets for damage and remove any signs of swarf. If your DSG-7 mechatronic unit requires a rebuild, we have re-engineered solutions which eradicates the original manufacturing design flaw, and this comes with our unlimited mileage lifetime warranty. Sending your control module for a rebuild could not be simpler. Just fill out our online test form with the details of your fault and select your preferred collection date. Ensure that the module is safely packaged to prevent any damage that could occur during transportation. Once we receive your unit, it is then scheduled to an engineer who will fully test your control module to confirm the faults. You will then be notified of the test results along with the full rebuild quotation. You can make payment instantly by credit, debit card, or via PayPal. As soon as payment has been made, your engineer will be informed and your unit will be rebuilt. Your unit is then shipped back to you via next day tracked courier service.